comes to the massive realm of professional basketball, LeBron James is a living legend. He was the youngest athlete to join the NBA when he was drafted into the Cavaliers right after graduating high school. Since then, he's made history throughout his entire career in the NBA. He's won a total of seven MVP awards, received two Olympic gold medals, and is well on his way of breaking the record with 16 starts in an all-star game. And that alone is not even close to scratching the surface. There is an entire spectrum of accomplishments in his longevity as both an athlete and a philanthropist. But the point here is that LeBron James is a literal monster. And with all of his hard work, success, and rise to stardom, he's gained a multitude of riches with a net worth of $480 million, making him the richest NBA player in history. So it makes perfect sense to explore the wealthy lifestyle of one of the greatest human beings on the planet. These are the 10 expensive things LeBron James actually owns. As always, make sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more awesome content. LeBron James has many nicknames to his title. King James, the L-Train, the Akron Hammer, but he's always been known as a man of time, and his collection of Rolex gold watches is living proof of that. This collection includes a Rolex Daydate 2, a Rolex Yachtmaster 2, and a Rolex Skydweller, all priced at a value of over 100,000 pounds. That's right, I said pounds, because he purchased them in England. Back in 2012, LeBron James made a huge investment in an English soccer club known as the Liverpool Football Club, or Liverpool FC for short. LeBron owns 2% of the club's stock shares after investing a whopping $6.5 million, which has now seriously paid off. When the Liverpool FC won the Premier League in June of 2020, LeBron's initial investment grew six times the original value. 6.5 million times six. You do the math. When a highly paid professional basketball player proposes to his high school sweetheart, you better believe he's going to go all out. Savannah Brinson and LeBron James have been dating since they went to high school in Akron, Ohio. In 2012, LeBron proposed to his girlfriend, now wife, with a huge diamond wedding ring on New Year's Eve, which also happened to be his 27th birthday. It was a five-carat pear-shaped jewel with a diamond in the center, a style that expert jewelers said has not been seen since the last power couple engagement between Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. At the night of the proposal, LeBron had the help of his two close friends who are also professional basketball players, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bach. The ring was priced at a value of over $250,000, and it's the only ring that LeBron holds near and dear to his heart. He's definitely not going to confuse it with any of his championship rings. About half of the expensive things LeBron owns involve his massive car collection. If you were to actually check out his garage, you would be blown away by the long line of fancy sports vehicles and sweet rides LeBron takes ownership over. This is a whole nother video in itself. There's a numerous amount of sports cars that LeBron owns or has been gifted over the years, but we'll discuss only five of his prized possessions. The first one is his special Maybach S75 which comes with an electric tilting, a V12 engine, and a top speed of 170 miles per hour. The second sports vehicle is a Ferrari F430 Spider, which has a lightweight V8 engine with 490 horsepower and a top speed of 193 miles per hour, ranging at a big $154,000. The third is a Porsche Turbo with a high-end turbocharged 3800cc flat-six engine that has 530 brake power and is priced at $165,000. The fourth is a Dodge Challenger SRT, which comes equipped with a monstrous 6.4-liter V8 engine. LeBron James is often seen driving family around in this one. This sports car features dual-zone climate control and has a top speed of 199 miles per hour. The fifth one, a Hummer H2, is the perfect type of car for LeBron to drive, and it's apparently also his favorite car to be seen in. The Hummer H2 was a gift from his mother on his 18th birthday and is equipped with 8-way power front seats and a Bose premium sound system. After leaving the Cavaliers and moving to the Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron decided to sell his Ohio mansion and settle in his estate in Coconut Grove. It's good to know that LeBron is rich enough to have a second household. Located in the ultra-upmarket area of Coconut Grove in Miami, Florida, this $9 million mansion is spread over an area of 1,500 square feet. The luxurious mansion has grounds that include three fountains, room for two 60-foot yachts to dock, six bedrooms, and eight and a half bathrooms. The mansion features a huge kitchen, impressive and well-equipped laundry room, infinity pool overlooking the bay, a large home theater, and a huge wine cellar. LeBron James' body is a temple and a machine, 
so it makes sense that he would invest money into himself to better take care of his body. He spends $1.5 million into workout equipment, chefs, physical therapists, and many other appliances. A big part of James' physical work is the various forms of treatment he gets to prepare for and recover from games. He was reportedly one of the first players to invest in a cryo chamber, which uses liquid nitrogen to essentially be a more efficient version of an ice bath. LeBron is also a fan of using the hyperbaric chamber to put more oxygen into his body, which can also increase mental awareness. LeBron also wears compression gear on flights after games and gets hooked up to an electrostimulation machine to flush out toxins and make his muscles contract. When it comes to beefing up on poultry, LeBron generally tries to avoid red meats and sugar, but occasionally he splurges. What's even cooler is that he and his wife have owned a juice store in Miami called The Juice Spot. Unfortunately, it closed in 2014, and it's unclear whether they opened another anywhere else. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe for more. Be sure to hit the bell for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.